So I want to share with everyone something. I was at a spiritual retreat the other day. I, I call it a spiritual retreat, but it was a personal development, self-help, and spiritual retreat, which was um, camping in Catalina Island on the beach. We could only eat our food off of a campfire. There was no running water. There was no showers, no electricity, no internet. Why I'm sharing all this with you is I went for a walk on the last day. And while I was walking on the last day, I was like, I want to pick up a memento, moment, memento of my experience. And so I was looking on the ground and I said, stop looking, stop looking. Just let intuition guide you. And I was looking and I was walking, walking, walking. Finally, I saw a rock on the ground that caught my eye. And I thought it looked like a heart. And when I reached down to pick it up, and I looked at him like, this looks nothing like a heart. It was a rectangle shaped rock. And I was ready to walk away and I saw a rock buried un amongst other rocks. And I was like, and I, and I looked at it. I remember looking at it for a moment. I go, oh, I can't tell what it looks like. And I started to walk away and I said, no, let me, let me reach down. I was curious because I saw the side of the rock, the side of the rock, and it had no, no real connection with me, but I felt this strong desire to pick it up. I mean, it was like this gigantic impulse and it was buried amongst other rocks. And then when I turned it, look what I found, a heart. My intuition was guiding me. My intuition was guiding me. Why am I sharing this with you all? I started to look for a heart because I was forcing it. And then I stopped looking and just said, trust your inner guidance system. And when I went to go pick up a rock that looked like a heart for a moment, and it made me stop in this one spot, I picked up this heart and it looked like a rectangle, okay? I mean, I didn't save that one, throw it back in the ocean. But then this other rock caught my eye. And again, this is what I saw, the side of it. But I kept looking at it like, and then I was about to walk away because I didn't see it. But I felt this strong pull. And again, look what I have here. And we'll turn it on its other side, okay? That's the way this works. Now, the problem with the strong pull is we can think of when we're focused on trying to find that life partner, we're not going to see it because we're too hyper-focused. But also, when we hyper-focus on chemistry as our indicator of relationship success, we don't get to see the true personality. This is why I'm inviting you all to do the self-awareness work, the self-help, the spiritual work, the personal development work. So you can be attuned to your intuition. My intuition was screaming at me, pick up that rock. But I was like, well, but that doesn't look like it, what I wanted. But something kept driving me. Something kept driving me to want to pick up that rock. And then look what I found. Look what I found. I want you to apply the same principle to your dating, mating, and relating life. Allow your inner guidance system to do the navigating for you. Because you'd be surprised what happens when you get so attuned to who you are and what you want. You may find what you think. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know. If it is, post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always. If you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And also, if you want to connect with me directly, there's links below to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. I'm going to give myself a big hug over that. And I just want to add that Beach Lover just posted, it's a message from the universe. Yeah, it's a message from the universe.